Hello and welcome to our section on units. Not the most exciting of things, but uh, even though we have the exclamation point, but uh, I'm hoping to make up in the lack of excitement with brevity. So without further ado, let's go. The importance of units is is because many students struggle, or let's say there's a, there's a subset of students who struggle with units throughout the semester. They don't understand why to use units, or often they're using the wrong units. It turns out the units is, are really important. So um, one, one example, of course, is, uh, is with my running time. Uh, my six kilometer running time is about 40 minutes, whereas my six mile running time is nearly infinite because uh, I, don't, I don't run six miles. So, uh, it's really important for us to distinguish which unit I'm actually talking about when we're doing the running uh, or any kind of types of thing like this where we're talking about how far I'm going. The, my, my six meter running time, by the way, is, is quite good. It's about, about a second or two. So let's just talk briefly about what units are, the units we're going to be using, which are called the MKS units, and their approximate size. So after the, after we're done, we should know what the MK units, MKS units are. We should understand their approximate size. And what I'm hoping you'll be able to do, you won't be able to do this immediately, but after after spending some time in class and try and practicing, you'll be able to estimate the length, time, or mass of various things in MKS units. This is really important if you actually want to be able to do any kind of real physics in real life. We can't go around with with uh, rulers all the time or, or scales trying to measure everything around us. So often we just want to estimate things so we can get approximate ideas of how big things are and, and how the, um, uh, and, and their, their actual weight. Uh, the other thing that's really useful with understanding MKS units well is you can know when you get a ridiculous answer in, in, uh, when you're doing your problems. One of the problems I often have and one of the things that's frustrating as a, as a professor is when students give me an answer that is that to me is obviously wrong, and often the students just don't understand that is obviously wrong, but this is a really good way of checking things to make sure that you're not off. If you get something like a, that the mass of a rabbit is 2,000 kilograms, so hopefully we'll understand that this is not a correct answer. And I'll try to help you out with this as well in that I will um, generally assign questions that have real answers and that have answers that, that make sense. Uh, so we'll kind, of, we'll kind of meet each other in the middle for that. So the MKS units, what are they? Uh, they're meters, which is the length, the, the unit of length that we use. Uh, kilograms, this is kind of the, the most important one uh, or the, the most often confused one. It, often in chemistry we use grams and, and in, other, in, other, in other sciences they use grams. Uh, basically because a periodic table is built around it, around grams rather than kilograms. We don't use those units here. Kilograms are the basic units, and so we need to get used to using that in here, and, and we'll often be doing all of our work in kilograms. Seconds are quite straightforward as time units, ones that you're probably all familiar with. Uh, let's talk about time for a second. Uh, the um, a second is approximately one heartbeat, uh, as um, uh, which is, as was made famous uh, um, in a song. Uh, and but it was first used by Al Biruni. They used the second back in the days, I assume, because it was approximately the length of a heartbeat. It, this, uh, a lot of the experiments back in the day, they didn't actually have very accurate or, or any timepieces, so they would often use their own pulse as a timekeeper when doing experiments. I often wonder how they did this, especially if you were getting excited by the result you were getting, it seems like uh, this would very easily affect uh, what you were doing. But um, I don't really know, I didn't do science back then. So moving on. How big is a second? Uh, there are about 10 to the five seconds in a day. So one day is around 100,000 seconds. There are about three times 10 to the seven seconds in a year, or uh, 30 million seconds in a year. And uh, they're about two times 10 to the nine seconds in a human. So it takes about two billion seconds to go from here to here. 
and I know as soon as you think this, I find I find I always start counting them. It seems like I'm always losing them as soon as I start thinking that I only have around two billion to deal with. And now I've just spent 30 seconds listening to me talk about seconds, which seems even worse. The good news is, is that I'm much closer to the end of those two billion than you are, all are. So hopefully that at least is some comfort to you. Moving on, mass, the kilogram. A uh, kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds if you're used to pounds. So someone who weighs around 150 pounds, uh, or, or, let's wait for that for a second, but let's say that it, it's about the same size as a big gulp. So one big gulp uh, that you get over at 7-Eleven is around a kilogram or 2.2 pounds. That's a lot of liquid. Uh, as I was saying before, uh, the, another way to think about it is that a person who weighs around 150 pounds weighs around 70 kilograms. I'm not quite 70 kilograms anymore, but I think I was in that picture, so that's good uh, for that time. It's unfortunate for now. Uh, cars weigh 10 to the third kilograms approximately. The Earth weighs 10 to the 25th kilograms. And on the small side of things, electrons weigh about 10 to the minus 30 kilograms. So you should never get a result that's smaller than 10 to the minus 30 kilograms because nothing that we're ever going to deal with is smaller than an electron. We probably aren't going to be dealing with anything bigger than the Earth. So if you do tell me that the cute bunny uh, that you were doing the calculation on weighs 10 to 25 kilograms, I may take one or two extra points off for that. Okay. Finally, the meter, uh, our unit of length, it's approximately equal to a yard. Uh, that's useful for those of you who uh, play either football or soccer because you have 10, um, a soccer field is 100 meters long, which is about 100 yards long. In football field, you're always trying to go 10 yards, which is approximately equal to being try trying to go 10 meters. They're about the same, not quite. Uh, again, to get an idea of how the different size of things in meters, again, me, I wish I was two meters. I pretend that when I round, but I'm all, actually only around 1.7 meters or 170 centimeters, which is often how people in other countries measure their height. My son is probably about 0.8 meters in that in, in that picture. And the one on the right, Leif, and my, my youngest son to, to the left, it's probably about 0.6 meters at that time. They've both grown a little bit since then. Most uh, Klaus is much closer to the 0.8 meter mark as of now. But uh, that gives you, again, gives you some idea about how different sizes are. Uh, on the smaller and larger side of things, the diameter of DNA is around 2 times 10 to the minus 9th meters. So that's, that's the width of the DNA. So really small, 2 nanometers. Uh, the human hair is around 2 times 10 to the minus five meters or so in thickness. The diameter of the Earth is 10 to the seventh. So that's about, again, the range of sizes that you can imagine seeing, again, anywhere from around 10, 10 million uh, to, to 10 to the minus ninth or nanometers is a pretty good range of size that you'll probably see in normal everyday life. Uh, that's about all I've got for you. What I recommend for you now is at home, um, try to learn how to use these things. You can guess friends' height in meters and then find out if you're right. I don't recommend doing this with mass, especially if you forget that someone uh, that a kilogram is a little more than two pounds and say that someone looks like they weigh 150 kilograms, they may take offense to that. I wouldn't. I would stick to height. You can also watch lots of non-American sports where they often tell you people's heights and weights in MKS units. Uh, you just have to watch out for Britain. Uh, where they have these, they talk about people in these stone units of, of uh, weight or mass, which I've never quite gotten a handle on. Uh, finally, uh, if you want to do seconds, you can try converting all times into seconds when speaking with friends, such as let's meet up in 1800 seconds. I'm sure it'll go over quite well. Okay, that's all I have for you. Uh, thank you very much, and I enjoy learning your units.